how to weave on a discontinuous warp in a unconventional warping scenario. This is band-aids on a book holding down some crochet line. And this is unconventional weft material, dry spaghetti. If you are using a discontinuous warp, the thing to remember is that there will have to be some sort of finishing. You'll have to sew your ends back in. So you don't want to start the weaving leaving very short string ends. You wanna leave a lot of string so that you can creatively and safely secure your warp to maintain the weft material. So this video demo is really just to show you that anything can be woven through you don't have to have a continuous linear string or line going through. You can have, you can even snap this, you can have these like weird, funny, rigid weft materials that stick out and don't loop back around. And the weaving will totally hold form the selvages should maintain against the weft material, meaning they shouldn't be slipping off the ends. So if you're using a slippery weft material like dry pasta, leave the ends a little longer rather than short, where the ends could slip off easily. And then you just follow the logic of tabby by offsetting. And this is a great time to use my tweezers, show you why I keep these in a weaving studio. Sometimes it's just like really helpful to have a second set of fingers. These are not working for that right now. There we go. And so I'm just going to use these to pick up my string and offset that tabby. And then make my pasta weaving. And then compress that as much as you can. And I can also, if I don't want to use those tweezers, I can move to using a flat needle to pass more material through. And I can stop using pasta and move to string at any time as well. I just wanted to show you that any tensioned line, no matter how strangely or radically tensioned it is, so long as that tension allows for weft material to pass through it, you can then remove this, oops, you can then remove this and make a weaving using the finishing demo after you've packed it with as much pasta as you'd like.